<sighs> All right, well, night before the fishing trip, I'm trying to organize my soft plastics. I know where I'm going, and I think I know what it is I want to throw, but I need to make it more accessible in case I need to make some changes. With how much time I just spent prepping everything and like switching out baits and stuff, it feels like I'm prepping for a tournament, but it's just going to be a regular day of fishing. <laughs> Actually, one of you guys mentioned that a tournament is just another regular day of fishing. So, yeah. Here we go. See you tomorrow morning. Following morning. Loaded up, ready to go. It is super windy. Oh man, my brain juices are still waking up. I'll see you at the spot. Alrighty, we made it. It is pretty gusty. Today is definitely not the day to be on the big lake. Um, I think sustained winds are around 15 and gusts are like upper 20s. <laughs> Pretty chilly too, so windy because the front came through again for some reason. I'm sure it's like this other places too, but last week on Thursday it was like summer. I think the real fill was like 97 or something and now driving over here the Jeep said it read 48. I'm out here like super early. I kind of overestimated my time. I, my intention was to get out here like super early, but right now it's like super early. So I'm gonna get everything loaded up and wait for some more sunlight so that way I don't get ambushed by <laughs> alligators. <laughs> the sun came up quick. It's overcast, so I can't really see the sun. So no nice sunrise, but it's 7.35 in the morning. The sun actually rises at I think 7.40, like three. So maybe we'll see some colors, but probably not. It was supposed to rain yesterday. So I was hoping the water level was going to be a little bit higher, but it didn't rain. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I might sound like I'm yelling. It's because it's super windy. Woo! I'm out here again at this spot. This is the closest fishing spot I can get to other than the little pond. So yeah, I've got with me my all familiars. Old Town Sportsman, PDR 106. I've got my little fish finder, Garmin fish finder, and new edition. You might be able to see something a little bit different sticking out of my crate. Maybe you don't know. Anyways, the, the little surprise that I picked up is this. This is my new combo. I've got two bait casters now and two spinning. This right here is a Luz Tournament Pro. Speed spool. I've got it paired on a Daiwa Tatula bay casting rod. This thing is, yeah, this is gonna put in some work. So I'm planning for this to be my designated bottom contact rod. Um, and I've got a frog tied on. We're gonna see what the water temp is. <laughs> I might not be throwing it at top water. So all together, my, the rods that I have now are a Pen Battle 2, a Daiwa BG3000, a Shimano SLX DC, and now a Lose Tournament Pro Speed Spool. LFS, lighter, faster, stronger. So without further ado, you know what time it is. I will see you out on the water. Woo! This drive dropped, and ta -da! And rudder deployed. <laughs> All right, kind of underestimated wind chill. Like it's, it's chilly. I know some of you guys are like, it's still like 30 degrees here. I'm probably laughing because it's like, it's not cold here right now. All right, so water temp right now is 65, which that's not bad. And the setup, so real quick, a couple changes real quick that I made to my setup. I moved my fish finder forward a little bit and my second shortcut is now just traditional sonar and clear view. My first setup is still side view, and then, yeah, golly, it's not really much water calm. Side view, my traditional, and then uh, maps. But I might rearrange it to where my, <sighs> there's another setup that I saw where traditional maps was to like my lake view maps, we're here and then side scan was here and traditional down there. I might do that, um, but I don't know. I kind of still like, now that I'm looking at it, I still like side view up top like that. But my first initial impressions as I pull out, not the rod, my initial impressions are that rod, that reel is like, they are super light. It is just, 
insanely lightweight helmet. Just how it is, it's wild. Oh, you see that cardinal? My brakes are set pretty high on it right now just because like the first cast with it, my brakes are set at like two. Um, I had to set up my spool tension, you know, that nice, even, slow drop. But my first cast, I backlashed like crazy. How are you guys doing? So there's a cold front down here in Texas. I'm guessing that means that there's a cold front up wherever you are too. Look at all this stuff. Having traditional and clear view are so cool. It's like you can see that that's a big old giant piece of grass. There's like a ton of random stuff in the water. Also, also, further in the world of updates, I got a 256 gigabyte card. So I have eight hours, almost nine hours worth of space to record with now. It was a pain going through and being like, oh man, I'm out of space. And then having to go back through footage and figure out like, okay, cool, I can delete this, I can delete this, I can delete this. You know, this is super random, but <laughs> I'm thinking about it now. So in all of my years of driving, I've never ran over a squirrel until one time. So typically this has been my philosophy. Like if I'm driving and a squirrel darts out in front of me, I'm like, you know what? These squirrels probably get run over because people try to dart and like slightly adjust to miss them. And the squirrel's like already compensating, so then it gets pegged. So, for the longest time, I'm talking about like years, probably over a decade, I had just not deviated away from my course whenever a squirrel has darted out in front of me. And I've never ran over a squirrel until one time. <laughs> I, was in a, I was in my parents' neighborhood and driving back, and there's a squirrel that just darted out in front of me. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, I'm not gonna do anything that I haven't done. I'm not gonna do anything different. So I continued driving and then I hear <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I totally hit that squirrel. Check my review on my side mirror and it was like having a seizure. I was like, dang it. <laughs> Out of all the squirrels that I've passed and not ran over, why you? Is that a fish? Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no. Dang it. That was a good one. <laughs> no. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> oh man. How did I? Oh man, I better not be continuing the trend from last time. I had so many fish come off last time. All right, I'm gonna give that a break real quick. I'm gonna fish over here. I got another one. Definitely not the same one, but. Maybe you are the same one. I don't know. <laughs> Yay. All right. Such 14 and a half. All right, thanks for that. See ya. Yes! Whew. High five. Well, this is gonna be the interesting thing. So I carry two power banks with me. I'm planning on getting a secondary camera because that'd be cool. But the weird thing is I'm gonna have to manage my power now. So I could just technically record like all day, but my power banks aren't gonna like that. Oh. Not our keeper. <laughs> nice. Why are you doing that? <laughs> he was trying to eat it. <laughs> he was already unhooked and he was like, blah, blah. <laughs> Derp. Dirt. Told the recorder. Here we go. Thank you. 
<laughs> Woo. All right, putting together a pattern of they are super duper shallow. Yeah, high five again. So in case you're wondering how I'm rigging this, it's a weightless fluke and I am barely poking the tip of my hook through the body. What is that? Leaf. <laughs> small. Pretty small, I think. Um, probably about the same size as the last one. <laughs> it's alright. I'm really... So, I'm still part of that online tournament. I'm really hoping for like a 17, 18. So the leader right now has two 18s and a 17. So that's that's really what my hope is, is to get bigger fish. Though I should just land all of them probably, right? Because that'd be fun. But I should land them so that way I just practice proper CPR. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm so surprised at this place. I remember the first couple of times I came out. Make a, make a dinosaur noise. Oh, I remember the first couple of times when I came out. I was like, man, where are the fish? And I caught, I caught like a couple of dings. Um, the last couple of times I've come out now, it's been good. So windy, choppy water, and then along the bank, especially right there, there's a, there's a lot of grass. So if I throw something like this, kind of have it plop over the grass, maybe the fish are feeding up. That was another thing from the podcast. I, heard that fish feed in a specific column of water so they're either going to fish up or fish up they're either going to feed up or they're going to feed down and that's like I think, I think the guy said like 10 feet of water or so so it's finding out part of that pattern right part of developing that pattern are these fish feeding up or are they feeding down it's crazy professional fishermen like the stuff that goes into them finding fish and like the things they think about it's crazy nope. oh, I think you came off nope you did it you're a little fat one sweet the biggest one of the day <laughs> these bites are so strange so casting up super shallow and then like i'll see a blob of water oh yeah you're the biggest one of the day yeah that's a good one i'll see water just kind of like jiggle and it's like yep that was a bite you little puppy dog stop wagging your tail 15 three quarter cool another one we go good day Whew. thank you see you <laughs> these bites are so strange out of curiosity so that fish is like over there shallow i wonder if there will be some over here shallow golly <laughs> that was another one <laughs> Ow, I am all sorts of tangled up. Uh-oh. Did I get wrapped around my drive? No! Not the drive. In case you're wondering, yes, I do keep spare parts for my prop, my drive. I think that's super important because accidents happen sometimes. Like there, I almost dropped my... <laughs> oh, almost dropped it again. I haven't... I have an extra one though. Old Town Swartzman, PDR 106 stability. Check that out. Just stand up with this handy daddy front facing rod holder and run my line back through the guides. It's windy. It's a little bit chilly because of the wind. So while I'm retying stuff, for you guys out there, what is your favorite knot to tie? What's your go-to knot? You're not that... Like if you had to tie one knot for the rest of your life and it, was, it had to be a trusted knot, what knot would it be? In case you're wondering, my favorite 
go-to knot is a snell knot. I use that on everything. The other knot I know how to tie is a, an FG knot. So I'm going braid to leader. So close up, I have that hook tip barely poking through. And got just your normal extra wide gap hook. And that's what it looks like. I guess the other good news with the wind being so high and the temperatures being cooler, there's no gnats. For those of you that shoot with the GoPro, I'm debating which on which one to get. So I'm currently shooting with the GoPro Hero 7 and I wanna know which one I should get. Is an eight adequate enough? Is a nine adequate enough? And I'm specifically running it, it's gonna be an over, well, here's the thing. So I'm planning on my seven to be my over the shoulder camera and have that be like super view and wide view, wide angle. And the next one is gonna be what I throw on my head. Which one? is worth getting is an eight still good is it like fish nope it's like is an eight good is it compared to like a 10 or is like the 10 like all right cool that's the one to get because there wasn't really big updates in the 11 or 12 or is it like the 12 is the baddest the best one get that one because it is absolutely worth it and it does all the things no oh. Like, yeah, that's a small fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ow. That's gonna be bass, though. Barely hooked. <laughs> cool. 16. Windy day. That's a good two pounds. There we go. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. High five. Talk about a pattern. Yeah, we got a pattern. <laughs> oh, what? Did you lose it? Oh man. How big do you think that was? Uh, three, three and a half. Yeah, it's been a good day, but it's chilly. It is cold. <laughs> Stretching my legs a little bit. Look at this house. This house is huge. Tell you what. I feel better though. <laughs> Imagine coming out in your backyard and just being like, I'm gonna go fishing now. <laughs> That'd be cool. You know what would not be cool? Having to mow all this. That'd be a pain. Whoa, I got with me a big old friend. You're not my friend. So, please see yourself off of. Look, see him? I'm just gonna poke you down to the water now, okay? Bye! Okay, I said bye. Dang it, go away. Here, fine, crawl on this. Now bye. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, there we go. The way these are hitting them, I feel like they'll hit a top water. Woo! Another fish in the boat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 ish, maybe? Ah, oh, 14 and a half. There's another one. Actually, I haven't taken any picture of you guys like this yet, so. Sweet. See ya. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. High five. All right, we're just gonna stand and drift 
but it's okay. They're so shallow, they should hit this. Oh, dude, they will. The bites that I've gotten up shallow have been like almost immediate and like really shallow. Darn it. Watch, I bet you if I throw a fluke back out over there and if I catch a fish, it's gonna be so derpy. All right, if they go and pop this up like immediately, it's gonna be so silly. Yep. <sighs> the heck. <laughs> tangled. Get out of there. There we go. Got him. Oh, you're too far away. <laughs> there we go. Nice. There's another one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. Why are they hitting this so well? They like, they just, they want it. Got the pattern. It's the biggest one of the day, probably. Yep, I say so. Oh, no. <laughs> what did I say? All right, little angry fish, stop. Great fish right there. Thank you. Oh man. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Big old fish. I think that's a fish. Is that a fish? Oh man. I was like, dang, that's way in my line. It, that felt, it really felt like a fish. So it was like, it was like a tap, and then there was weight. And I, mean, I guess it was a bite, a bite from salad. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ready? One, two. Some under the boat. Silly goober. I'm just gonna boat flip you. Wow, you've been eating stuff. <laughs> His mouth is like messed up. Definitely. Oh, whoa, look at all this grass. About to get fouled up like crazy. Nice. Thank you. See ya. Yes, I know. I'm in shallow water. Oh man, I'm in like messy water. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> My vegetation, jeez. Jeez. Should be able to get that. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get that now. Well, I had been thinking about getting another net, so I guess now I have to. <laughs> Oops. That's a nice looking reel. Like it. Nice combo. For reference, I am pedaling into the wind right now and I'm maintaining a 3.35 mile per hour speed. Not too bad. That's GPS. So 3.35 pedaling into the wind, holding a conversation. That is pretty comfortable. I'm gonna maintain that pretty much all day. All right. <laughs> bad part of having a bigger SD card also is I forget I'm recording sometimes. I'm just like <laughs> not doing anything, and my GoPro's going. Okay. Looks like this one's coming to a close. 
think all in all we had a chance at seven fish I think but yeah the majority of them were on my weightless soft plastic put in some work today I was not able to get one on the Texas rig unfortunately and I had I think I had two hit of a topwater frog and then nothing on that and then one hit one or two hit my underspin and miss them <laughs> so yeah good time out here chilly breezy windy it is it's about to be 12 but good times looking forward to putting in some more work with this beautiful thing of a combo as well make sure to say what's up below so i can say what's up back drop some fishing wisdom i hope that you are able to go fishing and if you are fishing i hope that you're able to catch a big one but i'll catch you on the next one Whew. god is good y'all be blessed later Ooh, look at that <laughs>